today's video, we're going to be checking out the brand new Diamond Select Spider-Man Homecoming. This is Spider-Man the figure. So get ready, here comes your 411 on the web crawler. Of course, he's been played by many actors in the past. This particular incarnation of Spider-Man was portrayed by a very young 21-year-old Tom Holland, whose first appearance donning the costume for Spider-Man was way back in Captain America, which was released in theaters in 2016. Of course, later he would get his own movie entitled Spider-Man Homecoming, which was released this year in 2017. Let's grab a tape measure. Spider-Man is about seven inches. He's a few notches short of being seven inches completely, but he's very, very close to about a seven inch high figure. He gets himself an accessory, one of which being a diorama display stand base. Uh, it does not come with any sort of pegs in which you can peg the web, web crawler onto, but rest assured the figure seems to stand perfectly fine. He's got nice flat feet, which we will look at in a second. But from a diorama piece, it's a very nice looking representation of a rooftop, complete with chimneys, a little smoke exhaust, little pipe, and uh, you've got some brickwork around the side parameter of the, of the top here. Again, it doesn't really have any peg holes or anything to it. I don't think it necessarily would need peg holes. Probably would just end up putting Spider-Man on a stand, like a some levitating stand or something where I can actually have him leaping off the building maybe as my preferred choice for how I'm going to be displaying him. Then, of course, as with every other Spider-Man, he comes with a series of interchangeable hands. I've deliberately kept the hands defaulted to how they appear in the package. Comes with one web shooting hand as his default singular hand. And his other hand, he's got a closed fist. If you have some attachment to either one of these, rest assured, he does have its mirror copy as the other options for what you can display the figure with. He's got two web shooting hands, he's got two fists, and then for the remaining fists or remaining hands, he's got a series of kind of reaching out hands, and he's also got a pair of partially open gripping hands. Doesn't really come with any other accessories, so he no real need necessarily for him to have partially open hands unless there's going to be perhaps like a Disney store exclusive that will make use of those hands uh, with maybe like an accessory or something that he's going to be holding. So we, we will see for that. Uh, I mentioned actually at the beginning of this review as well, a way far back 2016 release of Civil War. That's actually not that far long ago. I mean, that's only like, it's only about a year or so. Needless to say, though, let's have a look at Spider-Man, which I absolutely adore this figure 100%. Once again, this is a good indicator and a good example of how Diamond Select does things right, whereas the Marvel Select, or the Marvel Legends, I should say, the Marvel Legends, and even just the basic class Spider-Man didn't do things so hot. But I absolutely adore this figure. There's so much to like about this. Proportionately, let's start with that. Proportionally, it looks like a normal, regular build. Well, it's still muscular, yes, but it still has a normal build to it. It looks proportionately like he does in the movie, in which some instances, of course, with Marvel Legends, making use of other molds, you came across a little lanky. And of course, then you compare that to the basic figure releases, which unfortunately I don't have at the moment. I'm not even sure where I put them, uh, but those basic figures as well. Good, but very limited when it came to posability. Uh, this one, of course, has the best of both worlds, really good sculpt and super posable as well. Let's have a look at his face. Well, to do that, we'll just kind of bring the camera inward. The face is fantastic. I couldn't have asked actually for a better face here on this Spider-Man release. Granted, yes, he's got a little bit of a smudge right on the white area of his one eye. The other eye seems perfectly fine. That's not across the board, I'm sure. That's just an instance in which I've just picked up a figure that unfortunately has that little smudge. By the way, this guy now just released in comic book stores. I think he actually came out, don't quote me on this, a couple of weeks ago in comic book stores. Just managed to pick this guy up now. So really, again, really super thrilled. Uh, I do really like the webbing on this guy as well. He doesn't have very dark, stark webbing to it. 
it's panel lined, sure, but it doesn't, it's not at the level where it impedes and kind of just takes away from the sculpts where sometimes you get Spider-Man figures and the webbing is just so dark and so heavily webbed that it just detracts you from enjoying the figure. Here you've got a nice balance. Might I also add, there's none of that excessive kind of gray, bluish gray wash that was incorporated to the other figures that we've looked at before on this channel. A very small Spider-Man butt, I don't know why I feel the need to point that out. Webbing on the back or the elevated emblem on the back is a nice touch. Of course, he's got some additional lining here on the shoulder, back, shoulder, and arms. Some of which I really didn't like when I saw the initial designs for Spider-Man, but have since grown on me. I know I'm a more traditional Spider-Man snob, but actually this Spider-Man gives us a very modern take of the web crawler while still giving us more classic designs. Don't think for one second that this figure does get away with paint quality issues because he does have a few. He gets a little bit down below where it gets a little on the sloppier side where they're not quite certain whereabouts the red wants to finish. It's small. It's not enough to really detract from the figure. It's not enough for me to look at it and think, oh my God, they've ruined the figure. But there are some little areas in which the red have overlapped over top of the black onto the blue. Very, very, very small little nitpick. The undersculpting of the shoes look quite good. Again, the webbing is nice and clean on this figure. All around, really decent, decent job. I don't know if you can see it, but if I just move the arm out of the way, just slightly here, joints are still pretty stiff on this figure, which is good. He's still got that sort of basketball print texturing here on the blue. It doesn't seem to make an appearance very often on the figure. In fact, it seems like here around the area of the thighs, and around the area of the upper torso seems to have more of it. And then in other areas, such as the lower leg, it seems like they've just entirely given up on the on the notion of it. It's still there, but it's not to the same degree that it was a little further up. Again, from a distance, you're not really gonna see it all that much. So I don't even know why I'm talking about it. I am talking about, I'm bringing it up in this review. So yeah, there's a lot to like in this figure. I can only hope that perhaps we would get ourselves maybe a Disney Store exclusive of this, as that usually tends to be the case. A lot of Spider-Man are also released as deluxe versions, and maybe we might get ourselves like a Tom, Tom Holland uh, alternate uh, face sculpt. And of course, maybe we might get ourselves uh, some accessories to make use for the, where are they, where are they, right there, the partially closed gripping hands. They're there for a reason, and uh, unfortunately this figure, really, this specific figure release doesn't seem to warrant having these but again maybe we will see with uh, a future maybe like deluxe release or something like that okay so let's have a look at his posability his head rotates all the way around it's a ball joint after all and actually to be fair it's a uh, it's a double joint as you've got a hinge a hinge ball joint so you've got the hinge right there on the neck and then you've got the ball joint assisting in that as well you got your universal joints on the shoulders, and unfortunately, they're a little on the stiff side. I say unfortunately only for the purpose of this review. I'm perfectly fine with a really stiff joint as opposed to a really super loose joint. Super cool articulation in the bicep. Okay, I played that up a little bit. A double hinge on the elbow, we'll go with that. It does look a little on the jarring side when you double hinge the elbow. You see all this big gap of red, it just doesn't look like it flows together. Maybe if they had finished that off and put the blue on the interior of the arms, this side as well. Okay, we can add that as a small nitpick. Could have added a little bit of blue, could have gone a long way. But uh, again, I'm probably gonna be posing in, in maybe a way like this. I'm not gonna necessarily be seeing a big gap and I'm certainly not gonna be bending the elbow to the extent where I will notice that you know, the red carries over a lot more than what it needs to. He gets a ball joint in the upper torso, so you get a good range of motion there. Splits on the legs, as well as a forward back motion. He's got a lower three quarter, possibly a half, give or take a half, maybe, eh, half, give or take a half, cut swivel on the thigh. Double hinge on the knee, uh, nothing on the foot, and a considerable amount of articulation on the feet themselves. Hinge up and down. Of course, you've got your ankle rocker if you are into that. And you got a couple of peg holes on the undersides of his feet to boot. 
Yes, with a fan-enjoyed first appearance in Captain America Civil War and a very well-received first outing in Spider-Man Homecoming, the future is very bright for the web crawler in live-action films. I'm really excited for what Tom Holland will bring to the role of Spidey. As he's fairly young, I mean, he could they, they could really indefinitely use him for Spider-Man as the, of course, the character Peter Parker grows in age. Of course, so too will the actor along with the role in Hopefully he'll stay as Spider-Man. Again, really, really happy with him in the in the role itself. Not talking, of course, Spider-Man the films, talking about Spider-Man the figure here. Diamond Select Toys has done an outstanding job here on the web crawler. This is my favorite Spider-Man figure from the Spider-Man Homecoming wave. Ideally, of course, many fans will probably like the Marvel Legends end of it because you go again, they fit to the scale of other uh, Marvel Legends. Of course, they also had the build a figure vulture wing. Uh, incorporate into that as well. We don't really have yet a vulture that can go along with this Spidey. I hope that Diamond Select will also release one that can go side to side, head to head, so to speak, with Spider-Man right here. The sculpt is great, the proportions are accurate, and he's got lots of posability that once again I ask myself, why would anybody be wanting to buy Marvel Legends? Just hold out right here and get yourself a Marvel Select. Fine work from Diamond Select Toys. Hoping, fingers crossed, we're going to be getting a vulture that I can put him on the shelf along with Spidey here. Love this figure. Highly recommend if you guys see him, I would really say pick him up. Price-wise on, on these guys as well, at least here in Canada, Marvel Legends is usually about $24, $25, as you saw probably in my vlog to Toys R Us. Um, the Marvel Select version of Spider-Man here, I think one was going to be about $32. He's a little bit more, but in all honesty, and I've said this in the past, uh, put the money towards getting a better looking figure then continue to spend the money on a figure that I think is a little inferior. This is a much better representation of Spider-Man, in my honest opinion, than what we got with the both the basic class figure releases as well as the Marvel Legends. So again, highly recommended if you guys want to pick this guy up and add him to your collection. Today, once again, we're having a look at the new released Diamond Select. This was the Spider-Man Homecoming and this was Spider-Man. Hoping we will get ourselves a vulture. If you guys haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, hey now, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Of course, more videos will be coming your way as well. And hey, if you also want to go back and check out some of the previous Marvel Select fig figure reviews that I've done, I've got a playlist here on the channel that you can check out as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching, as you always do. I'll see you next time.